मॉल ने आए तो पता लग गया मुझे कि आए हैं इन वो शिकायत दर्ज करने के लिए तो मैंने आ गई यहाँ मेरे राशन नहीं मिल रहा है पहले तो एपीएल का था पीले कार्ड तीन साल तक चक्कर काटते रहा उसके बाद चक्कर काटते गए काट के चौथे साल में लिख दिया कि कार्ड कैंसिल हो गया तो कैंसिल हो गया वहाँ लिखल देख के फिर मैंने दू, दूसरा सा फॉर्म भरा जब फॉर्म भर के बनाया गया सफ़ेद कार्ड तो सफ़ेद कार्ड ने उसमें मोहर नहीं लगी है तो बोल दिया उसने कि जो ऊपर से ऑर्डर आ जाएगा तो मोहर लगेगा तो तुम्हें राशन मिल जाया करेगा और नहीं तो नहीं मिलेगा and that's what made balku devi walk from her slum in trilokpuri delhi to this camp a microscopic version of what the nation is now debating how should corruption at this smallest level of the ration card and bpl card be dealt with this camp is organized by the set of people that have a decidedly different way of approaching the problem than anna hazare the ncpri or the national campaign for people's right to information say they've been foot soldiers in putting the right to information act on the national agenda and that experience has taught them for grievances to be really addressed they must be settled at the local level at the camp people walk in to file complaints about pension education ration sanitation things affecting their daily life that they have suffered with because of corruption and bureaucratic red tape dharampal a local ngo employee at the camp who has worked with public distribution systems is having a busy morning to pds mein kai sari samasya nikal ke aati hai jaise rashan walon se sambandhit ya fir kam tolna jaise rashan rashan se related dekha jaye to rashan wala kya karta hai ki rashan kam deta hai adhiktar sabse zyada problem ye nikal ke aati hai या देता ही नहीं है पूरा राशन खा जाता तेल तेल नहीं देता चीनी नहीं देता ये सब प्रॉब्लम निकल के आती है उसके लिए क्या करना है कि ज़्यादातर हम क्या करते हैं कि जो भी उनकी समस्या होती है उसके लिए एक एप्लीकेशन लिख करके उसको जो सहायक आयुक्त होता है ए उसको देते हैं फिर उसके बाद दस या पंद्रह दिन के अंदर एक आर फाइल करते हैं उससे क्या होता है कि उनकी जो प्रॉब्लम होती है वो सॉल्व हो जाती है आज के अगर आज का देखा जाए तो आज ज़्यादा लोगों को जानकारी नहीं थी सबसे ज़्यादा समस्या यही थी कि लोगों को पता ही नहीं था कि राशन कितना मिलना चाहिए और उनके लिए आता कितना तकरीबन मेरे मेरे से जिन्होंने डील किया तकरीबन 20 से 30 लोगों ने तो मेरे से अभी अभी और पिछले डेढ़ दो घंटे के अंदर The next day at a camp in South Delhi Anjali Bharadwaj member of NCPRI is giving a talk on the new bill She encourages women to come on stage and tell their stories जमीला जी को जानते हैं ना सब लोग तो जमीला जी को क्या शिकायत है सरकार से वो बताएंगे ठीक है सब लोग अपनी अपनी कुछ कुछ लोग आके शिकायत भी बताएंगे जिससे कि चर्चा चलेगी ना तभी तो मालूम पड़ेगा जमीला वॉज विरो टेन ईयर्स गो एंड लिव्स विद हर डॉटर शी नरेट हर नाइट मैर ट्राइंग टू गेट हर ड्यू पेंशन और मेरे द्वारा अढ़ाई साल से पेंशन रुकी पड़ी थी दौड़ते दौड़ते बहुत परेशान हो गए बहुत दिनों के बाद में बारह हज़ार मिला है पाँच छः महीने के बाद तीन हज़ार मिला है तो बेटी के साथ रह रहे हो घर तो मेरा है लेकिन दमाद कहता है कि घर मेरा है घर से निकल जाओ तो मैं जबरदस्ती मार गाड़ी खा के रहता हूँ The Citizens Right to Grievance Redress Bill aims to make it easier for citizens to access public services and resolve their problems faster than they can in today's India. The bill includes a citizens charter and covers the government's central schemes: water, subsidized food, sanitation, the works. The bill requires that every government department have a grievance redress officer whose job it will be to look at complaints about the particular department. Some aspects of the draft bill have however come under critique by the NCPRI. We had four broad sorts of problems with it although on the whole we warmly welcome the fact that the government is thinking of putting putting out putting together a law which would look into people's grievances but the problems with that law the first one is how do you define a grievance 
uh, if uh, what we believe is that the grievances that people have cannot just be covered by a citizen's charter a citizen's charter is often a very restrictive view of would give a restrictive view of grievances so what we've been saying is that Section 4 of the Right to Information Act give, lists out the various obligations of the government. That should also be clubbed with other sorts of rights and entitlements that people have under different laws and a very comprehensive statement of obligations and a citizen's charter should be brought out by the government and any violation of that should be considered a grievance. So that is an element which we feel hasn't been adequately addressed in that particular draft. The second thing which, uh, which we feel is a problem is that if we look at the sort of grievances that people have, there are old women, there are handicapped people who don't get their pensions, they have a grievance. There are women who are, and men who are living below the poverty line, they don't get their rations and they don't get their ration cards. It would be extremely difficult for people to go in a highly centralized structure and be able to get their grievances resolved. So grievances have to be resolved as far as possible possible closest to the people and one of the problems in today's grievance redress systems is that everything is internal within the department and there is really no proper independent oversight so uh, the NCPRI has been demanding that there should be an independent oversight by a public grievance commission which would uh, look at grievance redress and it should also have a presence at the district level so at a district level, there should be a district grievance redress authority, which should look into grievances of people in case they are not resolved even till the district level. We can't expect people to go up to the state level. In a remote village, it isn't really possible for people to go up to, a, to, a, to the state capital for their grievance redress. Well, at the grassroots level, the way we look at it is that if people have a grievance, their, uh, you know, their rights and entitlements are being violated, they should be able to go to a grievance redress officer in the department that person should be given 15 days to look into and redress grievances of that individual after that if still grievance does not get resolved then it should go up to the next level which would be within the department but at a district level head of department at the district level now they should be given another 15 days to resolve the grievance to our mind for most grievances 30 days after a grievance has been registered it should be adequate time for it to be resolved. We are also saying that this district grievance redress authority, independent authority, should be given the powers to penalize and to compensate. So if a grievance is arising and it is not being redressed properly within the, within the time frame, then they should have the right to penalize the official who is responsible for delivering that service or entitlement and also the grievance redress officer whose job it was to uh, take care of that grievance. And uh, another thing which the Act is totally silent on, the, the bill that the government has proposed, is compensation. Now, when somebody doesn't get their right or entitlement which is due to them under various laws and so on, it, they, they are suffering and there are several sorts of problems that they are incurring. So, for example, in the grievance camps, we've heard so many old women who said that their pensions are not reaching them. Now these people are clearly, you know, the government is identifying only those sorts of people who are totally destitute. Now when they don't get their pension, which is just a thousand rupees a month, they have nothing to live on. There has to be a sim uh, system of compensation for the grievance redress law to be really effective. And so we feel that compensation is extremely important. So this was the third weakness, so to speak, in the grievance redress bill that the government had proposed. Finally, uh, one thing that we have realized is that the biggest problem that a person faces when they go to file a grievance is that the grievance is not accepted. File a grievance is that the grievance is not accepted. And a lot of people are not even capable of writing up grievances. In these grievance camps, we've actually trained volunteers who are sitting down and writing out people's grievances. But people don't find it easy to write them or to go and submit them. 
because if they go to a department to submit a grievance against a complaint against that department official they are often threatened and they are unable to do it so we have said that at a block level there should be a public support center which should actually have the, the with the purpose of writing out people's complaints accepting people's complaints if people want to give them and also tracking those complaints so that people know at all points in time where their the status of their complaint where it has reached and uh, it, it, what we are proposing at the ncpri is that it's perfectly possible to completely computerize these systems the camp itself is a microcosm of a public support system of the kind maya devi is the best example of how some awareness of the law can be immensely empowering to speak about her right to access public toilets नॉलेज हो गया जो भी है इसीलिए हम ये जो मीटिंग अभी जन शिकायत निवारण मंच बन लगा रखे हैं इसलिए मैं यहाँ आई हूँ कि थोड़ा हमारी शिकायत सुनी जाए और जो हमारी प्रॉब्लम हटाई जाए और जो भी जैसे शौचालय का वो है, क्या है आपके वो जो कॉलोनी में शौचालय का हाँ, प्रॉब्लम क्या है आप बताइए उसमें शौचालय की प्रॉब्लम ये है कि जैसे मतलब सुबह पाँच बजे खुलती है और शाम को दस बजे बंद हो जाती है दस बजे बंद हो जाती है उसके बाद में जैसे कोई लेडीज या जेंट्स या बच्चे का दस बजे बहुत कम टाइम होता है कहीं ग्यारह बजे तो ड्यूटी के लोग आते हैं और हम उतनी देर दस बजे तक तो हम लोग खाने दाना करते रहते हैं और जैसे उतनी समय में किसी का पेट दर्द हुआ या बाथरूम का ऐसे भी पेशाब कुछ भी लगा तो हम जाएँ तो कहाँ जाएँ एक तो लेडीज जेंट्स हैं तो कहीं भी चले जाएँ घूम घाम के वो भी कहाँ जाएंगे क्या कोठी के सामने या किसी के दरवाजे कहाँ कैसे जाएंगे तो हमारी एक एक पब्लिक शौचालय हो जाए वैसे कि हर वक्त खुली रहा है फिफ्टी ईयर ओल्ड उषा वॉज विदो टेन ईयर्स गो शी इज स्टिल स्ट्रगलिंग टू रिसीव रेगुलर पेंशन सम पीपल एट द कैंप है वेटेड लॉन्गर देन हर इवन इफ शी डज स्टार्ट रिसीविंग हर पेंशन हाउ कैन शी बी कॉम्पनसेटेड फॉर ऑल द ईयर्स लॉस्ट So if you can imagine yeah. that someone is entitled to pensions and not got it for years at the very least that interest should be given to them yeah. NREG workers are not getting their wage 15 days they are supposed to get it they are not getting it for months at least that interest should come so if there is a definite compensation then the grievance redress authority can rule that yeah. you must pay that compensation as per the norms laid down yeah. Rahul Giridhar's problems are slightly different Last monsoon his house with its computer fridge and television was completely flooded. His house near the Yamuna River is in a flood prone area. The 21 year old college student filed an RTI last year but nothing much changed. He now plans to make his campaign viral on Facebook apart from his other plans. No 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 actually uh, when, when we filed RTI uh, one a year ago the records show the records show that for every gully and every road There is a there is a jhadu wala and there is a uh, nali safai wala who draws a salary of twenty thousand and two hundred rupees every month, and nobody turns up. Nobody turns up. When we filed RTI, a few inspectors and a few people come up, the sanitary inspector and the lower people and a few higher in the hierarchy as well. They come up and they started sending up people on a request, but for the roads, nothing has happened. That, uh, but we didn't follow up. That was our mistake. But still, now we have come up. We are, we are in touch with uh, Satar Nagarik Sangathan now. We have filed five RTI, five RTI. That's for one for MP LED. That's uh, members of Parliament Local Area Development Fund. One is uh, legislative uh, councillors Local Area Development Fund. One is for uh, sanitary uh, sanitary conditions. And two, there are two more. What this law means to you is that if you are denied government services the government is made accountable if your ration card or driving license is not delivered to you 15 days after you make the complaint It is evident at these camps that there is an outpouring of public anger as people queue up to register complaints about things they've lived with for years The law may just make it easier for them to demand what they're already entitled to